Hello and welcome back. Before we go in depth into understanding what orthographic projection is, we must understand that this is a very important topic of engineering drawing. In fact, this is the most fundamental concept in engineering drawing. You cannot read engineering drawings without understanding how orthographic projection works. With that been said, let's look at orthographic projection in detail. Here also the word orthographic is just another fancy word for stating that this type of projection is created by representing every face of the object on a separate view. So instead of trying to represent an object in 3D or looking at it from an angle, we take the object that we want to draw and rotate it so that we are looking directly at one face of the object. Let's call the face that we're seeing now the front face. So now we see the front of the object, but because we're looking straight at the front, we don't see the features on the side of the object and we don't see the features on the bottom or the top or the back of the object. Now we let's draw what we see on this front face of the object on a separate view on the drawing and we call it the front view. Now if we rotate the object 90 degrees to look at it from the side, now what we see is only the side face of the object. We don't see what happens in the front view or in the back view or in the bottom view, etc. Now we only see the side. So we draw what we see on a separate view on the drawing, and we call it the side view. So if we want to draw or to add more views, we just keep rotating the object and draw what we see. Now, if we do this for every face, we end up with six orthographic views. Now the big question is how to place these views on a drawing. Do we just put them randomly on the drawing sheet or are there rules to how we place these views in relation to one another? And yes, you guessed it, right? There are rules. And they are called first angle projection and third angle projection. Let's investigate them in the next lecture.